The quickest and easiest way to test the diverter valve is testing in the central heating mode. So we'll select heating on, the boiler fires up in the normal fashion and we're going to feel the flow pipe is getting warmer and warmer. So now we'll turn the heating off, turn on the hot tap, the diverter valve then should shut off the radiator circuit and provide all of the power from the main heat exchanger, the primary, to the secondary for hot water. Whilst the tap is running, just feel the flow pipe from the boiler. If it's also getting hotter and hotter, that's 100% guaranteed the diverter valve is letting by and it's sometimes known as creeping heat. And this often happens in the summer, a customer will phone me and say, my radiators are hot. Why? And that's the reason why. They're not shutting off completely. Look at the age of the diverter valve. Anything past five or six or seven years, if it's been well maintained, that's terrific. But if it hasn't, it's time for replacing the whole diverter valve or at least the cartridge. We can always fall back on D35. And also have a look at D70, the answer should be normal. If the diverter valve is working properly, remember normal, it will be displayed here. If it doesn't, the diverter valve is faulty. And that's how we test a diverter valve, whether it's in hot water mode or heating mode. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. There's also links to our website, mrcombi.com, where you've got more information on our books and apps. Thanks very much and take care.